G'day guys and welcome back to another episode of Aussie Gamer. On this week's edition of the show we're talking about everything Xbox. Specifically, we're going to have a quick chat about the new Xbox One system update, which includes a number of really cool features. One of those is the new Friends Improvements, which brings notifications uh, and apparently was the most requested feature on Xbox One. So that's a good one. Wherever you get, whenever a friend pops online, you get an instant notification. So that's really cool. We all like that one. Uh, Connect and motion improvements is also coming. Um, We would expect, I think, these to continue to to drop frequently and uh, over the life of the console. So again, a welcomed improvement there. Uh, Another cool feature is the improved game DVR quality. So uh, if you're like me and uh, and love to upload your videos to YouTube, then uh, the higher the quality, the better. Uh, And this comes on the back of the updated YouTube app, which allows us now to directly upload our videos straight from the Xbox One, straight onto YouTube. So for me, big tick of approval on that one. Some of the other features are the controller and headset adapter firmware updates. So, you know, stuff that happens in the background just to make stuff better, which is really cool. And of course, the silent reboot. So you might be thinking, what the hell is a silent reboot? Essentially, if there's an update that comes onto the system when um, it's sitting in standby mode, it will take care of the, the... the update for the console and and do its own reboot silently, all in the background without uh, you guys even noticing that uh, that anything's happened. So again, that's a pretty cool feature. All right, up next is something that everybody should have heard about uh, by now um, is the new Titanfall Expedition DLC, which is dropping in May. Now, if you haven't already seen our Titanfall DLC video, uh, there's a link below and there'll also be a link at the end of this video, which explains uh, exactly what the DLC is in a little bit more detail. But to give you a quick summary, it's essentially three new maps, Swampland, which is a, uh, a greenish kind of rainforesty environment um, with lots of trees and they've replaced the, uh, the zip lines with, with vines. So again, they're, they're mixing it up a little bit, which sounds really cool. There's also Runoff, which is a, um, I guess, a, a world with a lot of water. So it's kind of an extension of the Swampland environment, but there's lots of pipes, there's, there's lots of water. So that could be interesting to see how they mix that up with, uh, with Titanfall. And the one I'm most looking forward to is War Games, which is a kind of a, been described as a pilot training ground. So I uh, can't wait to check those out. Um, they should all be really cool. Um, now, a bunch of other features that uh, are reportedly coming in the near future, and, and no one's really sure when, are things like the uh, the hashtag uh, group. So, say for example, we come up with a hashtag Aussie Gamer. Um, anyone who puts in that hashtag when searching for games over Titanfall will automatically be grouped with other people who are using the same hashtag. So. Uh, that then groups us together and we can play together as a group. So I think that's a really cool feature and it's something that's a little bit innovative. So um, I really welcome that one in particular. Uh, some game mode changes. So we've got two on two, Last Titan Standing. I think it's been described as Titan Wingman, um, which sounds pretty cool. As well as uh, some customization updates. So, you know, Titan decals or or maybe some, some mods other than just what we've currently got in the game. So um, that's really welcome and I think uh, Titanfall is one of those games that I know I certainly can't put down at the moment. Um, So I'm sure it'll just add a tremendous amount of more playability to the game. I also want to give a quick shout out to Vince Zampella. Um, Vince uh, sent us a note on Twitter just the other day, but um, one of the things I saw uh, during the week was, was Vince explaining how Titanfall is really taking advantage of the cloud. Um, now there's there's a lot of talk over whether the cloud was or wasn't hyped, but um, you can see in the video, and there will be a link below, that um, that they are really taking advantage of the cloud and, and, and developing the game to make it better. And I think it's something that, uh, this is only the start of what the cloud can do. And I think uh, as we evolve throughout this generation, we'll see even more uses that will, I think, justify its existence. So check out the video with Vince down below and um, be interesting to see how it evolves from here. All right, a couple of the other things that I really want to talk about today include the uh, potential future update of DirectX 12 coming to Xbox One. Uh, The really cool thing about this is it has the ability to use multiple 
CPU cores, which obviously affects and improves performance for the Xbox One. So um, as soon as we get more information and more details on that, we'll come back and, uh, and obviously update you guys. So stay tuned for more. Uh, Forza Motorsport 5, um, the free Long Beach Circuit DLC track is available now. So uh, go and download it if you've got Forza Motorsport 5. Uh, obviously, there was a bit of controversy about Forza, uh, the fact that it didn't have a lot of maps when it was, was released. So I think it's really welcome that not only are we getting new tracks, or a new track, I should say, but we're getting it for free. So that's, that's obviously a very welcomed inclusion. One of the other rumors that kind of hit my desk last night or early this morning was that The Amazing Spider-Man 2 has been uh, cancelled on Xbox One. So I don't know if that's true uh, or not at this stage or if it's just been delayed, but obviously as the console war heats up, we know Sony are definitely in bed with the, the Spider-Man franchise. They've, they've been that way for ages now. Uh, whether they're turning up the dial and making sure that, that some of their properties remain exclusive to the to the PlayStation, um, time will tell. All right, finally, in uh, some other news, if you're keen to get uh, some new games on the Xbox, then uh, Trials Fusion, Lego Hobbit, and Kinect Sport Rivals, as well as Strike Suit Zero, are uh, all up live on Marketplace. So uh, go check them out, download them, let me know if you like them. Um, I haven't downloaded any of them at this point in time, but uh, at the very least, I'll probably check out Trials Fusion, um, and we'll see how we go from there. But uh, that's essentially everything that's available this week. All right, coming up in our uh, next video, which should be out in the next day or two, we're going to have a look at a lot of those sort of cross-platform games that are that are coming or rumored to be coming in the near future to uh, to Xbox One and the PS4. So things like GTA V. Um, I think that's kind of building some momentum to say that it, it is definitely coming in the, the near future, so I can't wait to see that. Obviously, we want to have a quick talk about uh, other products like Watch Dogs and, uh, and those really big blockbusters that aren't too far away. All right, guys, if you've liked the video, please remember to hit the like button for me. As always, subscribe. Uh, we welcome feedback here, so comment down below. And uh, if there's anything else, just uh, shoot me a note. Thanks, guys. Talk soon.